Beautiful, lovely people, please take a seat. The show is about to start. Put your hands together for the host of the show, Alice, Alice Frick. Welcome to Laughing Labor again. Um, I am actually, this week is very exciting for me because I am actually in London. I went to London after a four months lockdown with my parents. And it is, it is really great. Oh, is that my mother? No, that's <laughs> <laughs> my mother won't join today. She misses me already. So I don't know if I ever lock in or not. So uh, she's not a lesbian, so just be aware. <laughs> don't be up with her, you know, I don't want her trouble this night. <laughs> so, and uh, I'm also very happy now to uh, introduce our first guest of the night. She's absolutely fabulous. You might have seen her at the live show. She was at Laughing Label Live already. Uh, and uh, now she's on Zoom. I'm super excited. Her name is Pam Ford. So please put your virtual hands together for Pam Ford. Hello, everyone. I'm missing music festivals. Now, it's right. I've been single for quite a while. I've been single for nearly five years now. But it's funny how I recall now, because, look, I've got to tell you, right, I'm sitting down at the moment, but I am, I am close to six feet tall in my bare feet, right? Yeah. And it always seems like around about May, June, I always got myself a boyfriend. And I realise now why I got a boyfriend, because I'm six foot tall. And they were usually always shorter than me. They chose me to go to a festival with so I could put them on my shoulders. <laughs> yeah, it took me five years to work that out, right? Now, with lockdown happening, I've got to say that parts of, not just my flat, but parts of me have become very unkempt. Obviously, you can't get your nunny waxed anywhere at the minute. So I've gone from having a very nice and tidy Brazilian to now looking like I've got an afro in my pants. I've had to buy, I've had to buy my Primanis a size bigger just to accommodate my afro down there. And I did try shaving once and oh my God, it was so prickly and so it looked like a plucked chicken down there. Can't be doing with it, can't be doing with it. Um, I do have trouble um, getting boyfriends when I'm in a bar because they do chat me up when I'm at the bar because I do scrub up quite nicely. And then at some stage they will notice my disability. I have a disability called MMH. Massive man hands, look at that. The man sees those and he thinks I'm not putting my sausage in those hands, it's gonna look like a chipolata. Boom, they go to the loo and they don't come back. Sam Ford, thank you so much. <laughs> that was great, thank you so much. Yeah, I, I actually, uh, she was talking about um, uh, English speaking and non-native speaking. And I, I mentioned that before to you. I feel like uh, I lose my English accent during the lockdown. I've been, I've been becoming really, some people think she'd never had an English accent, but I, I'm convinced I did. And, and I told you that before that there, there is only one word that I can say that makes me sound really British. And that word is parsnip. So I, I try to throw that in all the time, you know, I say, hello, I'm Alice, I like parsnip. <laughs> or, or yesterday I was out uh, on the street uh, and I was asked, do you have some change? And I said, no, but I have some parsnip. <laughs> or when I go to the coffee shop, I say, could I get a coffee with parsnip, please? <laughs> <laughs> and, and then I had, uh, I was, uh, you know, now it's the lockdown is open. So, so I'm getting ready for dating. And I thought I, I want to be seen as a British person you know as british as possible when i go on dates so i was just on the phone with this girl and i thought i want to sound really really british uh, with her so and i and then i said uh, i googled some words that more words than parsnip that make me sound british i realized so it's it's words that rhyme with parsnip and that uh, starts with a p so, so i was like i collected a list of words and i was on the phone with her and said like uh, do you want to meet um in the park near the parliament and go to a market and have some parsnip. <laughs> so, 
But I, I will let you know how this date is going. <laughs> if that is still on, I don't know. She has not <laughs> called back yet. But uh, we, we shall see. But uh, yeah, this is enough about my parsnips. And I am very, very happy to introduce the next comedian. She is, uh, just look for her and find her. Put your hands together for Katie Pritchard. Hello, everybody! <laughs> Who here has seen the uh, movie musical version of Cats? No. no. But... <laughs> okay, one person that I can... <laughs> one person. So we're doing well so far. And of that one person, Kate, um, have you seen <laughs> The Irishman? The film on Netflix? No. No. Oh, no. okay. So, um, so, <laughs> you know, so uh, it's, it's this next bit is for people that very much sit in the middle of that Venn diagram. Um, so <laughs> if you've seen one or the other, just imagine, uh, just use your imaginations. Um, uh, this is just my little song about how, uh, how I think we could have made the movie musical version of Cats better. I hope you agree. <laughs> Whoa, whoa. Oh, I wish Robert De Niro was in cast. He'd have brought the role to life with a bit of this and that and that. Oh, I wish Robert De Niro was in cast. They could have CGI'd his fur on Along with a coat, a scarf and hat And it would have looked more realistic Than his eyes in the Irishman And that's just a fact Google it after, then you'll, you, then you'll see what they did to him It was... It was well. How are we He'd have tried actual catnip to see how he'd react. And when he'd see a ball of yarn, he'd be ecstatic. And when he'd meow or hiss, it would feel like your feline bliss. His body's so agile, but his character would be far from fragile. Oh, I wish Robert De Niro was in case. And this is my little song about how much I long for that. <laughs> Thank you so much. So, um, I will post on the site all the links uh, from the act. So if you want to follow them on Facebook or on their website and uh, see when they are performing again, I think Katie has a lot of uh, online stuff as well on her Facebook, so you can befriend us and follow up. And also uh, feel free, if it's a free show, but if you have a spare penny or, or pound or, or pounds, <laughs> then just uh, put it in our tip chat, that would be lovely. Mm -hmm.